Alright guys, I wanted to show you this new flashlight I bought. It's a Helotex VG1 flashlight. I got uh mounted here on my hat brim. As you can see the um the belt clip is facing the opposite direction of most belt clips. So I'm able to mount it on the my hat brim very easily. It's very tight, it's not coming off here. I mean I could pull on this like I'm pulling on it with a lot of strength right now and it's not coming off it's just it's really good um, now this flashlight has a few different features when I take it off you actually have to pull out the thing to be able to take it off the hat it's that tight I mean it's really you can just see how it snaps it's very very tight and it made a little mark on my finger doing that so this flashlight has a few features. It's got a nice push button and uh, click on. It's got flashing and then half, half pushes, high beam, low beam. Now another neat feature is this has a focuser. So what you do is, okay, it's on flood mode right now. What you could do is just push this front piece forward and it'll go all the way down to a square beam. See that? See, that's just this. Just pull forward or push back. It's very simple. So half pushes, you got flashing, high beam, low beam. Uh, and it does have a nice O-ring there. And it takes one AA battery. I'm just using an end loop has nice marking on the inside to tell you which way the battery faces nice knurling all all throughout nice little um, grip spots here on the side cutouts I like those feel nice in the hand um, yeah here's a little oh yeah and flat bottom if, if you wanted a little tiny bit of light, if I turned all the lights off in here, you'd probably see a little bit of light. Let me, let me give it a shot. Give it a try. Hey, a little night light, I guess, you know. That's high, that's low. I mean, it gives you no, it actually gives you enough light to see stuff just doing that. Now, also, it's flat on the other side, so you can face it upwards. And you can't really tell because the camera's not picking it up well. But it lights up the room all right. Now that was low flashing. Let's go high. Now now you can see the countertop in the camera. Now it looks your eyes pick this up better than the camera does, but I mean you know, for a tent or something, this would be fine, or a little camper. It lighted up enough for you to see around and do some things. So that's pretty cool. You can see there's the now I could read this. That's enough light for me to read that from a few feet away. Um, I know you can't tell that in the camera that well. Um, okay, let's turn the lights back on here. Okay, uh, here's the little instruction sheet that comes with it. If in case you want to read any of that, uh, show function. Only press on off. That's kind of interesting. Um, yeah, it comes just in this little box with, with bubble wrap, which is fine. Yeah, it's a nice little flash. Let me put that back on my hat and I could just show you how strong this thing is. It's hard to get on there. It's very, very tight. Come on, move over. There we go. There. Trying to get right next to the camera so I can film at night with it. Which I've done a little bit already, but let's go get some more video. Mounted on the brim of my hat, right beside this camera. 
and this is on uh, flood mode here let's look around the shed a little bit here and then I'll move it on to spot it's down to a little bitty square so you can see the far wall that's 60 feet so there's wide out there's flood or you know what I mean spot it's interesting it goes down to a square and you could go everywhere in between it's really cool actually this is going to work great um oh yeah let's see there's different settings uh, if you just half press it there's a you know not as bright there's flashing flashing is actually really nice too okay that's bright well, not as bright flashing There's the sheepies.